if your Vitronox machine doesn't work, or the head doesn't work, it's because it's probably got lots of hairs in the component on the inside, in the inside part there. The suction, the power actually works. Of course, when you connect it, it doesn't work. So there's something wrong. It actually works, so that thing's not on. Okay, this is just without that part. It's working. So what we've got here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. And these side screws are hidden behind these little wheels here. So you've got to get a flathead screwdriver. And best to actually put it on the one end or the other end as you flick it out. That will unlock, that will unlock the wheel out. Once you've unscrewed the bottom, once you've unscrewed all the screws, the lid comes off, like so, to access the motor. And once you've taken the lid off, you've got to, um, you can actually take this motor, you can actually test it and see if it spins. Um, and if you want to clean this part here, you actually can actually lift it off and tilt it and take it out and unscrew that screw there, which is can be quite challenging. You have to really fixate it. You can actually fixate it using the brush, put it there to fixate as you unscrew the screw there, and then it takes the um, band and everything off, and you can access the, the hairs inside here. Probably got lots of hairs in the component on the inside, in the inside part there, that fits inside. So you have to take this all apart because the motor now works, and you've got the belt around, which this part connects to. The belt goes around, and if it's too jammed here, it's going to stop. So pretty much, you got to actually unscrew that, take the belt off, clean the inside out, and it should start working again. And putting it back as well. Just put it back inside here like this. You'll find all the screws are the same, besides the first one, besides the one in the very front, which is a bit smaller. So that one goes in the front. These wheels back, they're quite tough and tight, so you just get put it in place and get the screwdriver to press down either side to fix it in.